It didn't look like one of President Trump's most enthusiastic greetings, but the U.S. leader has had his first meeting with the Philippines president ahead of an ASEAN summit in Manila. Both men are controversial and maverick heads of state, with Rodrigo Duterte often described as the Donald Trump of Asia. The U.S. leader is under pressure to raise the issue of human rights with Duterte, but a presidential tweet on North Korea once again stole the headlines. Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old when I would never call him short and fat, he tweeted. Big protests have greeted Trump in Manila with a massive security operation in place. Protesters are being kept well away from the venue of the ASEAN summit. Trade issues are also expected to top the agenda. ASEAN has a policy of not interfering in internal affairs of member states, but meetings on the sidelines of the summit are expected to raise the thornier issues in the region. It didn't look like one of President Trump's most enthusiastic greetings, but the U.S. leader has had his first meeting with the Philippines president ahead of an ASEAN summit in Manila. Both men are controversial and maverick heads of state, with Rodrigo Duterte often described as the Donald Trump of Asia. The U.S. leader is under pressure to raise the issue of human rights with Duterte, but a presidential tweet on North Korea once again stole the headlines. Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old when I would never call him short and fat, he tweeted. Big protests have greeted Trump in Manila with a massive security operation in place. Protesters are being kept well away from the venue of the ASEAN summit. Trade issues are also expected to top the agenda. ASEAN has a policy of not interfering in internal affairs of member states, but meetings on the sidelines of the summit are expected to raise the thornier issues in the region.